Okay guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. You know what it was, you already know what it is, you already know what it will be. So today we're gonna talk about how Flyboy like literally went on live. You guys, if you haven't seen it, look at my previous videos. It pretty much explains everything. You gotta be updated to like know what I'm talking about. But like I was reading the comments on my other video about the fact that Flyboy cheated and how he addressed it. Now, obviously I'm a dummy, so I believed it right away. I was like yeah, he didn't cheat. Like, he came on live, and he was just like, I ain't never... He was swearing so much, you guys. He's like, I never cheated, this and that, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I believed him. I believed him. This is how dumb I am. I don't know, y'all, for sure. Like, I, in my mind, I still believe he didn't cheat. Am I wrong? But then your comments were like, him pretending he doesn't know who Ruby is. And I was like, yeah, why is he pretending he doesn't know who Ruby is? Because obviously he knows who Ruby is. Like what like how do you not know who ruby is like that's like your baby mama's of 10 years like best you know who ruby is like what are you talking about so like the fact that he lied about that and was playing dumb and then you guys were pointing that out and that he was just deflecting a lot like i don't know if that's just him or like and that's just how he talks or like maybe that was deflecting like i feel gaslighted and like that's not even like has nothing to do with me and even i'm like yeah like i believe him but he was really coming on live being like i ain't never effing blah 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 like just swearing after swear so i don't know and like he was saying like he never like the fact that he was just like and huh and who like just being so dramatic and over the top with it was kind of sus like now that i'm thinking about it it was looking sus like, at first when I was watching, I didn't even think of, about it. And now I'm like, wait, like, why? Like, he was being extra with it. So then people were saying, like, did he sleep with Ruby? Or did he, like, you know, sleep with Eileen? Like, I don't think he slept with Ruby at all or, like, even met Ruby. But I think he knows who Ruby is. So it was sus that he pretended, like, he didn't know who that is. Like, maybe he's just trolling. Like, who knows? But that's not a time to troll when you're being accused of cheating. Like, you gotta be serious. So, obviously, Maria is not going to care regardless because, like, they were literally at the club, like, partying it up, like, that night, like, when he, before he, like, literally right after he went on live, so it's not like she cares. Um, even if they, even if he did cheat, like, they're technically on a break, and, like, I just feel like Maria is going to make any type of excuse for him until he really like pops out and really f's up like where it's like exposed exposed but he that's what i'm saying he really messed up by even hanging out with eileen that one time when they were not together because look now eileen can like lie if she wanted to oh say this talk shit like he really gave the power to of eileen to just be like yeah like he was flirting with me and he tried to get with me and i didn't want him but he came back to me. See how he just came back to me when he wasn't good with you? Like, I'm always going to be the baby mama. Like, you know, that just gives the girl the power. Like, I hate that, you know? That would make me feel some type of way. And, like, guys don't understand, like, you can't give another girl any type of power to talk about the girl that you love, like, at all. Like, we can't handle that, nor should we. You know, we wouldn't want, want some guy being able to talk shit on you and be like, oh, yeah, your girl was just here the other night, this and that, whatever. I could have your girl here in a second. Like, it's got to go both ways. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, did we not all learn this when we were younger? Treat others how you want to be treated for real? So, like, if you wouldn't want it done to you, don't do it. That's how I think about different situations. How would I feel if he did this to me? Because I believe in fairness. Okay? That's how I believe. So see now it just caused the whole problem now he's being accused of cheating when all he did in his mind it hit, see the guys are just so not not all guys not all guys i don't want to offend anyone out there but i'm just saying not all guys but these are how most guys seem to think because girls think in detail we think before after before it even happens the outcome guys are just thinking about now in the moment girl in front of me that's it they don't think about the repercussions if I do this, what is going to happen? What are all the outcomes? Like, guys are not overthinkers. They're not thinking like us. We overthink. Like, and it is our biggest strong suit and biggest downfall that we overthink. Because guys just don't, don't do this. 
but we would have already been thought about that situation like all the five outcomes you know he never thought like oh eileen could say oh we hooked up oh i was flirting with her oh like he cheated like eileen has that power you know and if they're not good like he also says his baby mom is crazy and this and that and next thing you know he's hanging out with her like how does that look like you were literally saying that oh that girl is crazy like she's just drama and then you go hang out with her when things aren't good you see how that looks but guys don't think like that it looks crazy you look crazy when you're calling somebody crazy and then you go hang out with crazy what does that make you you know like it's common sense here so yeah now this big whole thing is about him cheating and causing probably problems in the relationship right now maria's probably second thinking like did he cheat because like that girl like she wasn't there maria wasn't there right so honestly she doesn't even know for real only fly and eileen will know so it's like two like their words against one and when eileen wants to go off and be like oh he was all over me this and that blah blah and caused drama she can because like you went and put yourself in that situation do you see what happened do you see why you need to think about the outcome and stuff we need to do better y'all think and sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's hard, but these are just basic things, like, you know, when you're not good with your girl, don't go do things that if you know that you're gonna be, like, what I was trying to say is don't go do things and put yourself in situations when you know that you're gonna be good with the person or that you want to be good with somebody in the future, like, don't go and sleep, if, if you and your boyfriend are on a break, don't go sleep with the whole whatever fuck his friend this and that whatever do all these things that when you guys come back to each other is gonna cause even more issues you know what i'm saying you're just adding issues to the already issue because i'm pretty sure like now the issue that they were broken up about before is over and done with right but then because fly during that issue went and hung out with eileen now this causing a different issue when they were already made up from the last issue do you see how it's piling do you see how this is why relationships end because that's why the respect and should never leave like the respect should never leave when y'all are not good because that's gonna add you know, if you really want to work it out with this person, you know this is your person. You can't go do things that are going to hurt the relationship further. you got to understand, evaluate the situation, know, okay, we're going through a rough patch right now, but this is not permanent. And if it's permanent, then you got to make sure you stand on that. You can't do permanent decisions, like, you know, if you want it to be a permanent relationship, like, you can't do that damaging, that permanent damage. You can't. So you got to, like, you know... Be aware of the situation. Know that, okay, this is a rough patch we're going through, but it's going to work out and we're going to get through this once we each calm down and come to a solution because it's going to get resolved. But now there's this whole drama, y'all, because he had to go and be petty. Like, that's the thing. In the Bible, and I hate to bring up the Bible for the people that don't, you know, follow, but, like, this is my channel, and so, and I go by the Bible because it's honestly a lifesaver, I'm telling you, like, I'm, I just started reading the Bible, so this has helped me a lot, because it honestly is all in the Bible, a 2,000-year-old book, y'all, from 2,000 years ago, is, like, literally has every situation, the answer to everything, it has the answers to everything, and it literally says, like, you need to be humble and be a servant to your partner, for a good relationship to work that's the only way it's going to work so you have to want to serve the other person and you're going to have to want to humble yourself and if you can't humble yourself in a relationship it'll never work you'll always butt heads you know if you each humble yourself to each other how can it fail but it's when you have an ego when he has an ego and i have to be right that's when it doesn't work out you know what i'm saying so now there's this huge issue but yeah you already know like comment subscribe you know i'm gonna keep you updated on the tea because that's what we do here so yeah let me know your opinions about that in the comments but you already know i'll see you in the next one Bye.